first of all, can everyone hear me all right? Yeah, yeah sounds yep. beautiful. Cool. So the first um, bit is going to be about wormhole space. It's going to be really, really basic. Um, so if you've been in wormholes and do stuff in wormholes, you're probably going to know this. But, um, so wormhole space is similar to a lot of a lot of areas, except from a few basic things. Um, it runs on delayed local, meaning when you jump into a system, you won't appear in local until you actually speak. Which is why, in general, people do not speak in local in W space. So you won't have any idea that people are there and watching you if they're cloaked up. The second is, doesn't matter where in wormhole space you are, the NPCs are sleepers, and none of them drop, and you don't get any bounties for them. All the money comes from the salvage and the actual blue books, and some of the data on relic sites. In general, the sleeper um, stuff tends to be a lot harder than normal uh, PvE going from probably being able to do it in a cruiser in C1s to needing capitals in C5 and C6s. The other difference is the wormhole space is split up into classes from C1 to C6, C1 being the easiest and C6 being the hardest. And you also have effects which alter the mechanics of actually all your ships and stuff inside that system. Um, you've got a Magnetar, Wolfrayer, Pulsar, uh, Red Giant, and the Black Hole, and Shattered Wormholes. We'll come to them in a bit. Um, so in a Magnetar, for instance, you'll do uh, more damage. Your lock range will be less. Your tracking will be less. Um, but yeah, you'll do a lot more damage. Uh, in a Pulsar, you get much more. Um, you get double the shield. In a C6, you get much more uh, capacity to regen, and the Newton amount is also increased, whilst the actual armor resistances are less. So you're almost forced to go to shield um, comp in a pulsar, and the warfare is almost the direct opposite with it being armor and a penalty to shield. Uh, the the um, traveling between wormholes, you're also limited on the both size and the total mass. So, for instance, if you're traveling the C1, the biggest ship you can get through is 20 million mass, which is um, the Nesta. You won't actually be able to get a cruiser through with an oversized prop mod. It's that small. Um, and then once you put the total mass through, the wormhole collapses, which for a C1 is about a billion mass, plus or minus 10%. Um, and then some of the bigger holes will be um, C5 and C6s, which will be a 3 billion total with a 1.3 um, max mass, meaning you can take capitals in and out. So it's, it's worth keeping that in mind when you do go in, especially if you want to take uh, a battleship through and then you realize you've either got a C1 in the chain or frigate wormholes, which are even smaller, which are about 10 mil max mass. So, Holy thanks, not to interrupt you. Um, so like, what is the advantage of even going out into wormhole space? Like, what's the appeal of it? Probably the ridiculous amount of isk you can make. Uh, you can make a scary amount of isk in wormhole space, but it's also a lot higher risk. Um, doing calculation sites, you can potentially earn 700 mil in five minutes with, with the right people. You'll need several capitals and stuff. Um, doing a C3 site is worth probably 120 mil, and you can do that in, in 10 minutes on your own. Um, with a small group, you can you can blitz these really quickly. In fact, like, uh, uh, correct? Am I pronouncing it right? What's that? You like you're in a C4. How long does it take for you to do a C4 site? Um, anywhere from ten to fifteen minutes. They're good for about forty mil a piece. 
40 per person. Million. Per person. Well, in total, actually, but we solo them. It's about 40 to 50 in blue loot, and then anywhere from 0 to 20 with the nano ribbons. For the combat anoms, um, the data and relic sigs are a little bit more. So, I mean, that's probably the. If you want to make a lot of money and you've got reasonable skills, and that you will need semi reasonable, unless it's a lower class wormholes, um, you can make a lot of this. The other advantage is because wormhole space are not limited on distance, you can effectively go from one side of the galaxy to another instantly. Um, so you could quite actually go from delve to oasis if you wanted to, if or if you find a wormhole that goes there. Uh, can we come with an example? Yes, you certainly can. Like, you could go from Isotalia, like if you go from, from the south, you can go from there to like Great White Lands and then into Highsec in a matter of three jumps or something like that, if you're lucky. Although it comes with the caveat that this may not always be an available option to you, it really just depends on how your wormhole chain pans out. Yeah, well, this one was a direct null to null, null to high chain I ran into. Yeah, I mean, the, the, the chains are always going to be random, or at least yeah. semi-random. Um, you obviously, all wormholes have a static, and the static will be to... Um, it doesn't matter what, it, if you get rid of your static, you'll get another one that will appear within a minute or so, and that will always go to the same class or area. So if you have a C2 that has a high sec, you can collapse the high sec, and you'll have another high sec uh, within a minute. Um, but it you, it will depend like where that goes. Um, that's always random. I lived in a for time. They had a static high. There was one day we had one directly into rents. Yeah, it, it happens. We've had one slope in one jump from Jita, which has been perp. To my knowledge, you will never get a wormhole into Jita, though. Correct. It's not possible. Jita's uh, wormhole jammed, basically. Like Jove Space is. Yeah, Jita's apparently the only place you can't. Get a wormhole. Although the fact that you can get wormholes to, you know, deep into null sec and whatnot makes it excellent if you want to do like raiding PvP. Which is what yeah, we I do. think. Um, yeah, I think the Reavers also use it. I'm not terribly up on the Reavers, but I'm pretty sure a lot of them actually use wormholes to take fleets of Ishtars through. I heard they don't exist. Reavers don't exist, but if they did, they use they would use wormholes to get deep, to insert an entire fleet deep behind enemy lines, and leave them there for weeks at a time. That's good. Awesome. All right. Has anyone got any questions on wormholes? Because this was meant to be a very very basic um, bit to begin with. What can new players do in wormholes? So, anyone will be able to scan. Um, obviously, the better skills you have, the easier it is. Um, but anyone can scan. You can, you'll be any. Yeah, I imagine with a cruiser, you'll be able to do C1s, um, potentially even with frigates, or, or at least you, destroyers. I did C5 sites in a Dominix past. You'd need a big you say, yeah. Uh, with shit, with shitty steel skills. How do you yeah, determine I mean, if a wormhole is C1, C2, or whatever it is? So, when you look at a wormhole, um, it will have on. Um, this leads to oh god, what is it? Unknown, dangerous, deadly space. Un yeah, unknown, dangerous, and deadly. So unknown is C1 to C3. Dangerous is C4 and C5. And um, C6 is deadly. If you actually look at the color in the middle of the wormhole, you can actually tell what class and what type of wormhole it is. Um, let me see if I can actually pull up. For you. Oh, you linked it. Fantastic. We, we also, also... We... Oh. 
also when you look at a wormhole in your overview it says wormhole and then it has letter and a three digit number so it might be wormhole s199 if you look that up there are various websites that, that have the listings if you look that up um, for anything other than a k162 it'll tell you what that wormhole is yeah and it will tell you what mass um, and what or what jump mass and what max mass it is it's also worth when you actually look at a wormhole it will also have um, this wormhole has just either started life um, or uh, God, what is it um, Near reach, its lifespan. Yeah, reaching the end of its lifespan, um, which means it's gonna win within the next hour or so. So you can you can tell how it is, and also as mass goes through it, it will say like this is a fresh wormhole. Um, this has had ships through it, but not to a critical degree, and then this is on the verge of collapse, or this wormhole is critically um, destabilized. Yeah. They usually refer to a wormhole as first shrink if it's had significant mass put through it that it's uh, it changes its description size. Yeah, yeah. It'll, it'll physically be smaller as well. Just uh, be aware that the first thing that um, most worm most wormholes are twenty four hour wormholes, and therefore by the time you look at them, they have less than twenty four hours. So they'll most of the time will already be saying it won't last another day. Um, don't panic with that because you're not to the yeah you're, you've you're got not plenty yet. Of time. They pretty much all say it. Not how all. Do, how, do, how do newbies make money porting wormholes? Like if there's like wormholes to destinations that we're looking for. You know, I honestly no. Uh, I, can, I, I can out of that data sites it's under one holes. Well, okay. reporting wormholes is what he's asking about. Yeah, this and is there were yeah. um, some of the directorate. I don't actually know their names, and I really should. Uh, that will um, ask to get pinged if you find something like that. There's a thread buried somewhere in Space GBS or the War Room Anybody about it. Um, if it is somewhere that is that, that seems to be strategic, um, anybody in the Sky Marshals group, for example. A Declan to Delve wormhole would be strategic right now. A Declan to Fountain wormhole would be strategic right now. You know, think, things that go from our home regions to the regions we're fighting in are always going to be strategic, and they're always going to be, you know, let a, let somebody in the Sky Team know. Also, the guys that are moving jump freighters around would really appreciate wormholes from Declan straight to high sec. Yeah. They'll, they'll pay you well for it. Just make sure that you do report these wormholes on Intel if it's just some random wormhole you come across, because wormholes are the reason why ratting in a carrier is a star idea. Yeah, because you will not know. You won't. People won't appear on Intel channels. They will literally just jump in and get you. Um, how good do your hacking skills need to be? Um, for C1s and C2s, not particularly hard. For... C5 and C6, you're going to need um, sort of at least fours, unless you have the actual... Um... Do yeah. Yeah, doing the C5 sites with fours was still, um, you're sort of at the mercy of the RNG even with the hull bonus. So you definitely want five for C5 and above, but you can get by with fours. And but yeah, it, you will need a bonus hull. Yeah, four isn't a very long train anyway, so just um, I'd recommend it. Honestly, you got a little bit of time. Honestly, so, as advice. Sorry, sorry no, no, you go, mate. I was just gonna say, as a bit of advice, I mean, I know not a lot of people will probably be in a position to do it. But if there's like a system that you can't that you rat in a lot and a wormhole opens, probably the best thing for you to do is try and roll it if you can. That means just sticking mass backwards and forwards through it until it actually collapses. Obviously, if it's a fresh wormhole though. If it collapses on one side and you go through, is it still open on the other side, or do no, you have to no, scan down? No, you will be trapped. You will be trapped. Right. You, yeah. Bring probe. So, yeah, bring probes, and if you if you want to do that, probably have a word with someone that knows what he's doing. Um, if you yeah. know what you're doing, it's not hard. If you're not sure, um, ask. 
Yeah, you don't want to get trapped in one more space in a Dominix with just plates and blows. Yeah, you should always, any ship you're going to put through a wormhole, even if you think you're just transiting the wormhole, have a mobile depot and a set of probes in the cargo so that you can at least try up. Mobile depot, a set of probes, and a cloak in your cargo any time you try to transverse a wormhole. <laughs> Yeah, it's the one time in Eve where you are you can get well and truly uh, buggered. Yeah, you probably also want to have a scout on the inside to keep an eye while you're doing it. PI is pretty good in wormholes as well. Yep, uh, wormholes are classed as zero zero for um, security status, so they're actually the best um, security in game. Which yeah, is, only, well, it's the same level as Nullsec, but yeah. Yeah, I've, I've only two newbie characters in there, and um, they're making about 20 million in there. Passive. I know it's not a fortune, you know, but it's it's not bad for mm. passive income. Yeah, really nice disc in, in W Space from PI. Do they still have, um, well, I don't know if they ever had uh, ore sites and asteroid belts in wormhole space? Not, ast well, there's asteroid belts now in the shattered wormholes. Uh, the in the actual W space, you don't have asteroid belts like you do in Nelsec, but you have um, anomalies where there'll be lots of ore. But you have everything in wormhole space, um, like ABC. Okay. So wormhole mining is in theory a thing, but probably not a good idea. Yeah, people generally don't do it. Um, if you're going to mine, you're much better doing gas mining. And if you can find a C5 or C6 with a instrumental or vital laid our site, they're very, very profitable. Um, you're going to need a, a few people to help you actually clear the sites. And when you walk to the site, the sleepers won't spawn for 15 to 20 minutes. Um, but then in those sites, you'll need three or four people to clear it. And after that, you can gas mine, and the site's worth about four to five hundred million. Is do you people can use also prospects? Also, and ninja the site before the battleships spawn, so yeah, you can go in and get you a good load of gas and warp out before the battleships get in there to kill you. You can get roughly about twenty-five mils worth of one ship before they appear. Yeah, you can. The ventures and prospects are fantastic for that. But they are the vital and instrumental are actually quite hard to scan down. But we'll we'll come to that in a bit. So we've got about five minutes before I go on to scanning. Okay, we'll go on to scanning now. So I'm assuming most people